Please stand. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawal. My dear friends, as we begin our celebration, we once again first call to mind our shortcomings our infidelities, our sinfulness, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. So all together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin, Mary, grant we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the twelve called together the community of the disciples and said, It is not right for us to neglect the word of God to serve at table. Brothers, select from among you seven reputable men filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this dust, whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented this man to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of God continued to spread, and the number of the disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the heart. With the ten string lyre, chant his praises. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. 
Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Please stand. Christ is risen, who made all things. He has shown mercy on all people. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. But he said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Narinig nyo na po ba yung balita tungkol sa Maginhawa Community Pantry? No? Mga hindi nyo pa narinig yun. Ang balita doon sa Quezon City, sa street na Maginhawa, Maginhawa Street, ay merong naglabas ng isang kariton. At doon sa kariton, may mga nakalagay na gulay, nakaatado na, merong bigas, nakaano na rin sa plastic, may mga dilata, at uh, may alkohol, may mga iba-ibang gamit pa. At may nakalagay lang po doon sa isang, sa isang karton, nakasulat, ay... Uh, magbigay ng kung ano ang kaya at kumuha lang nung kung ano yung pangangailangan. Give what you can and take what you need. Yun lang po. Simula yun doon sa kakaunti ng mga nakalagay and then gradually it caught the attention of many people. Maraming kumukuha pero ang magandang balita ay hindi na uubusan sapagkat patuloy pa rin na merong may mga dumadating doon na mga gamit, mga pagkain kahapon lang balita magmula pa sa tarlak yung mga kamote so ng mga nakaatado na no? why did I begin with that? because the moment that I heard that story I related it to what the Lord said in the gospel it is I do not be afraid yung mga katagang it is I, do not be afraid, is meant to reassure the apostles, the disciples, na hindi multo yung naglalakad sa tubig at hindi dapat katakutan. We are going through difficult times, paulit-ulit na nating sinasabi yan, at naghahanap tayo ng magagandang balita. Yung kwento doon sa Maginhawa Community Pantry is not just a feel-good story, It is a real good story na sa kabila ng pagkakanya-kanya sa sitwasyon na dapat unahin mo yung sarili, may mga pagkakataon at may mga kwento ng, na ganito na inuuna yung kapakanan ng nakararami. And when you hear that, and when you see that happening, you hear the words of the Lord, It is I. Do not be afraid. 
Yun yung assurance natin sa mga panahon na ito na kailangan-kailangan. Yun yung mga assurance na kapag ka narinig mo yung mga ganong kwento na yun, hindi <coughs> lagi mong maiko-connect na medyos pa rin. Meron pa rin sumasama sa amin, lumalabas pa rin yung kabutihan ng tao. It is I, do not be afraid. Yung mga katagang it is I, do not be afraid, was meant to comfort and to reassure the disciples. And yung desired effect na, na yun ay yung mawala yung takot. Eventually, ganun naman yung nangyari sa mga apostoles at sa mga disipulo when they recognized na indeed, it was the Lord walking towards them, unti-unting nawala at napawi yung takot. Ba ganun din tayo no? sa mga pinagdadaanan natin sa buhay, hindi lang itong pandemya na ito. Kapag ka, uh, when we realize that we are not going through a difficult paths sa buhay natin, going through a very challenging event sa buhay natin, going through a painful uh, event sa buhay natin, when we realize that we are not alone, andyan yung kaibigan natin, andyan yung mga magulang natin, andyan yung mga anak, andyan yung mga me, me tao, at andyan yung Panginoon, naiibsan. Ganda ng salitang naiibsan, ano? Nababawasan dahan-dahan. Ganun din sa binasa nating Ibanghelyo, when they started recognizing that the one walking towards them is not a ghost, but it is the Lord, gradually their confidence is again growing claiming again that confidence. It is, I do not be afraid. So yung assurance na binigay, binibigay doon sa mga katagang, it is, I do not be afraid, ay depende. Depende kung ano ang konteksto, depende kung sino nagsasabi, at depende doon sa ugnayan ng nagsasabi at saka doon sa sinasabihan na huwag kang matakot. Limbawa na lang, Kapag kayo nagsabi ng it is I, do not be afraid, ay yung pinagkautangan mo na, na pinagtataguan mo na ng matagal, pag narinig mo ba yung salitang it is I, do not be afraid, maniniwala ka? Hindi, maniningil ito. No? O kaya naman kapag kayong narinig mo at kumakatak sa, bu- sa bahay ninyo, ay alam mo na yung mga tao na umaabuso sa inyo at narinig nyo, huwag kang matakot, ako ito, hindi ka ba kakaripas ng takbo? So, depende doon sa nagsasabi ng it is I, do not be afraid. So, napakahalaga ng pagkakakilala doon sa nagsasabi. In our case, in the case that we have, in the gospel that we read today, alam ng mga apostoles na itong taong ito na nagsasabing it is I, ito yung Diyos na nagsabi sa kanila na hindi sila iiwanan. Ito yung Diyos na nagsabi sa kanila that they, He is going to walk with them in times of difficulty. Ito yung Diyos na nangako sa kanila na if I'm go- I, I will go through death and it is for you and I will rise and it is also for you. Yun yung pagkakakilala nila doon sa nagtaong nagsasabi ng it is I. Ako ito. And when they recognize na ito yung taong na nangako at tinupad yung pangako, they call their confidence gradually again came back. At yung mga salitang, do not be afraid, ganun din po. At yung, ang mga katagang an assurance na wag kang matakot ay nakadepende din sa ugnayan noong nagsasabi at doon sa sinasabihan. Ganun din naman po sa, sa ating buhay when, we, when the person tells us na do not be afraid. Nakita mo, hindi kita iniwan nung ikaw ay hirap na hirap. Nakita mo that I've been there. Or sometimes it doesn't, it did not, doesn't even need to have those words. Pag nakita mo na ito yung kaibigan mo na hindi siya fair weather friend, ay hindi ako iniwanan na ito. No? O kaya yung nangako sa inyo na sasabayan kayo abang buhay, eh, even without saying a thing, at nakita mo na andoon, bumabalik yung kumpiyansa. Ganon din po yung nangyari sa mga disipulo. It is I, do not be afraid. So napakahalaga na tanungin natin yung ating mga sarili about our relationship with the Lord. Sapagat yung lalim at tindi ng ating relationship sa ating Panginoon will 
also make the word do not be afraid meaningful and relevant and assuring. Kaya kapag ka sinabi ng Panginoon na it is I, do not be afraid, eh, taga mo yan sa bato. Siya talaga yun. At huwag talaga tayong matakot. Because pinakita na niya sa atin, pinadama na niya sa atin, yung tindi at lalim ng kanyang pagmamahal. Dear friends, this, this assurance ay hindi lang natin naki, naririnig sa ating mga dasal. Nakikita ito. Yung Maginhawa Community Pantry is an example of that. It's an assurance sa mga pagkakataon na nito na hirap na hirap tayo, naghahanap tayo ng mga magagandang balita. Di ba? No? Hindi na lang yung balita na naubusan ng vaccine, na yung vaccine na ito ay may blood clot, na ito ay tawag nito, yung vaccine ay uunain yung ganito, inuna si ganito, uh, nag-isik yun na naman dito, uh, hindi ka na naman makakapunta doon natanggal na naman sa trabaho sa dami ng ganoong mga mga matitinding mga balita na discouraging no despairing even no kapag ka nakakarinig tayo ng mga ganitong kwento masasabi talaga natin at mababanggit natin it is i do not be afraid in very concrete terms marami rin po nang ganyan sa ating buhay and hopefully ang challenge po sa atin ay tayo rin yung magandang balita dito sa mga panahon na hirap na hirap ang ating mga kababayan at tayong lahat ay hirap na hirap na magkaroon ng kumpiyansa sa maraming bagay. It is I, do not be afraid. Can you all stand? Let us pray to God our Father who is merciful and generous to all who fear to offend Him and want to live in His love. Let us say, Lord, hear your people. Lord, hear your people. For the Church of Jesus Christ on earth, which is a community of weak people, that the power of God's goodness may become visible in our love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For our world with all its needs, that Mary may watch over it and pray for it, and keep people from, from warring with each other, and from making one another suffer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For all in positions of authority, that they may use their gifts and talents in the service of those entrusted to them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For people in lowly jobs, that they may learn from our humble mother that God values all work done with love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. For all of us united here, that our faith in Jesus Christ may produce in us, as in Mary, fruits of genuine love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. We continue to pray for the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, especially in this time of the Novenario, that they may continue to be healthy, and we pray to, for their continued well-being, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. We also continue to pray for all the frontliners, for, especially for the medical workers, for the health workers, for their assistance, that they may continuously be rewarded by the Lord for their generosity. We also pray for our leaders, for their enlightenment, for more courage and inspiration. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear your people. Now we pause for a while and in silence, you may now offer your personal intentions. God, our Father, these were the things we ask of you today, that Mary enrich our prayer with hers and give us every good gift through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your devotion and grant that we who celebrate your son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mad, mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with us in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and heaven earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is you who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your word, your Son, born of the tender virgin under sacramental signs, may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We now pray the Horatio Imperata for the Archdiocese of Lingay and Dagupan. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingay and Dagupan. Let us answer together 
Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Merry help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the of Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Merry help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Merry help of Christians. Grant your prayers many vocations to the priest. Your son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross, taken to your immaculate heart, our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priests. Merry help of Christians. Grant your prayers, many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Merry help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priests, sons, as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at yung mga napatuloy na nakikisa sa kanilang mga bahay. Maraming maraming salamat din po. We continue to be a sign of hope, a sign of assurance to one another as we call to mind and always have in our hearts the Lord's assurance, it is I, do not be afraid. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks be to God. Let us now say the prayer for the blessing ng mga may sakit at blessing po ng inyong mga religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.